the pirates are deep into the sea, three months without seeing land. Every evening they get together to tell their legends. And one stormy night, one pirate asks another, what happened to you? Pointing at his leg. And the pirate said, I, I wrestled a shark and lost my leg. The first pirate pointed to the pirate's hook and asked, how did you get that? And the pirate said, I, I fought Redbeard's crew and lost my hand. And the sailor pointed to the eye patch and asked, how did you get that? And the pirate said, I, a bird came by and left drops in my eye. But that's not that impressive as a story. It was my first day with a hook. There once was a pirate ship on a terribly long voyage across the seven seas. The pirates became incredibly bored, but thankfully one of them was a magician pirate and he said, Arr, me hearties, gather round, I'll show you a trick. And sitting on his shoulder was a parrot and this parrot was incredibly gossipy and couldn't keep its mouth shut. So as the pirate said, oh, I'll show you my first trick. And he got out this coin and hid it away. To begin with, the pirates were awfully amazed. But then the parrot said, Arr! the coin is in the other hand. Arr! Oh, said the pirate, you're giving it away, ruining my trick. All right, I'll do another one. So this time he pulls out his cards and does an amazing card trick where cards seem to disappear from thin air. And just as the trick is reaching the pinnacle, the parrot squawks out again. Arrgh! Look under the table, that's where the card is, you silly freaks. Oh. This went on for some time with the parrot ruining every trick in the magician pirate's handbook. And he was so angry! And he hadn't done Rage Club, so the anger was completely unconstrained. And he just numbed himself with drinking. He went to bed, very drunk. And in the morning, he had his shift. But he was too drunk and he just slept through the whole thing. It was his shift on the big wheel at the front of the ship and no one else was there to stop the ship crashing on the rocks. The next morning, the pirate had a terrible hangover. Oh, that was a rough night. And as he was coming to, he noticed that the ship was gone and all around him were bits of driftwood and no pirate friends in sight. He was all alone, this pirate magician. Oh. And just as he was starting to get terribly lonely, the parrot, who had ruined his life yesterday, came and sat down on his shoulder. Ah! The parrot said. Okay, this time I give up. What did you do with the boat? One day, far out at sea, in the doldrums in fact, where the sea was as smooth as glass and there was no wind, there was a pirate ship. And on this pirate ship, there were four pirates. These weren't your normal pirates. These were pirates where every one of the pirates was a captain. They were using Taurus technology. 
In any case, the ship was ship shape because they had nothing to do but clean. They didn't even do it in whiz bang mode. And they were sitting about the deck one day, waiting for the wind to pick up. When the one pirate, the one with the hook and the peg, which by the way, had cost him an arm and a leg, said to the other pirates, what's your favorite letter? What's a pirate's favorite letter? You've probably heard this joke before. In any case, one of the pirate captains said, ha ha, that's easy. The C, the C is my favorite letter. Look at it, stretching for miles. A road to anywhere. The C is a pirate's favorite letter. And the pirate over on the other side of the hook-handed captain said, that's not my favorite letter. Look at it, stupid C. My favorite letter is R, R, Harbig R. Even when the C is being stupid, I can have an amazing time with my mateys. Cool said the hook-armed captain. Hmm, what about you? And he pointed his chin to this young pirate captain who's kind of sitting back. And the young pirate captain said to him, no, I want to hear what your favorite letter is. And the hook-handed captain said, I, I asked you first. So this younger captain pirate, he said, hmm, you know, Strange as it may sound, this pirate's favorite letter is all the bees, all the bees. It took the other two a couple seconds to catch on. They were like, bees? What? What? How can you be a pirate and your favorite letter is bees? What does bees have to do with piracy? And the hook handed captain said, oh, hold off now. You know, we practice tourist technology here, and on this ship, every pirate can choose their own favorite letter using their own authority. And they're like, oh yeah, yeah, true, true, but what does bees have to do with piracy? Well, maybe when the rum runs out, him and his bees will make us mead. Yeah, oh yeah, I see, Harbigar. <laughs> And the young bee-loving captain then said to the captain with the hook, he said, okay, your turn now. What's your favorite letter? And the hook-handed captain said to him, looking him straight in the eye, he said, my favorite letter is you. And the bee-loving pirate said, me? And the captain said, you. Ha <laughs> ha. And they both got it and they had a big hug and the other two were kind of like, wait, wait, what, what just happened? But the hook-handed captain looked at each of them in turn and said, and you, and you. And then they all caught on. And they all came together for a great big group hug. And the hook-handed captain was very careful not to hook any of them with his, with his pointy hook. And what do you know? The wind picked up. The sails filled. They all started running around to get them in position. And their adventure continued. Thank you for listening to my podcast.